Well, hello. If you are watching this video, you're one of the beautiful people. Only the beautiful people watch the videos here on Movie Community College. So if you're not watching, that means you're one of the ugly people. I'm just kidding. I am the professor, and welcome to Movie Community College. I did a reaction video, <clears throat> and it was a really, really long video. And the video was called... Um, 25 Amazing Scientific Reasons Behind Indian Traditions and Culture. And I had some copyright issues with the with the video, and I thought, you know what, why don't I do it as animation? And everybody can go suck it. Um, and so what I have here is I'm going to take each point that the video made, and I'm going to share it with you. And this very first point, I thought was, uh, I was amazed at it. When I heard this, and I listened to it, and it makes sense, and I know that it's true. And it is namaste. When you know the traditional Indian greeting, and you see people say namaste, and they put their hands together, and they say namaste, right? We all know that image. Everywhere in the world, we know that image of an Indian person putting their hands together with their fingertips touching and their palms touching and saying namaste. And here is the amazing scientific fact about that, is it is actually from yoga. This is a yoga technique, the Anjali Mudra. I'm pretty sure I butchered that really bad, I'm sorry. And it, and it is a major energy point. When we put our fingertips together, what it does is it connects the circuits of the brain with our upper body. Right, and that engages a sense of calmness and well-being, and it immediately kind of pushes away any kind of stress and angst that we may have in our life. Also, in yoga, each finger represents a certain type of energy, and this. I did not know, but it makes sense because here in the West, in America, we recognize the Chinese foot massages that happen and how there are parts of the foot that go to different circuits in the brain. So you, if you have a sinus problem, you can get an area touched. If you have a, oh, I don't know, you know, a kidney issue and they work on a certain part of your foot, it's supposed to help your kidneys. Why wouldn't this work? Right? This makes complete sense to me. So, we start with the little finger, or the baby finger, as I like to call it. And this represents the energy of dullness. Then we go to the ring finger, and this represents the energy of activity. Then we go to the middle finger, and I know that's kind of crude, but this is the only graphic I could find for the middle finger. And this represents refinement. Isn't it funny in the West how the middle finger that represents fine refinement has been used to be vulgar? Interesting. Coincidence? I think not. The index finger. The index finger represents the individual soul. Very interesting. The thumb represents the ultimate soul. These are the reasons why we say namaste with our hands folded. Completely fascinating and true. I believe this. This is outstanding uh, piece of information. Thank you so much for watching. Would you please like and subscribe to our channel? I'd really appreciate it.